I'm Natasha with Trader Joe's List and I am not in my kitchen, I'm in the mountains. I'm in this little tiny hotel room, well it's like a one bedroom, a little kitchenette which is what I'm standing in now. So there's like the tiniest dishwasher, the tiniest sink, the tiniest stove, but it's perfect because it's everything you need while you're on the mountain. And there's also a cute little fireplace too. So we stopped at the Trader Joe's on the way to Mammoth Mountain and I picked up like $120 worth of stuff. A lot of it's snacks from the mountain because it gets so expensive, but I did get some of the new items because all the seasonal stuff's out and I couldn't help myself. So I'm going to jump into this $120 Trader Joe's haul. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and let's see what I got. And also some of the items we've already eaten, so I'm going to show you empty containers because I'm filming it later than when it was brand new. So let's jump in. Okay, so I, I did mention that some of the items we've already eaten. This is the pasta we had last night. Um, it's the organic lentil and brown rice pasta. It's one of my favorites because it's protein packed. So it's perfect when you're traveling and you're staying in a hotel room or an Airbnb. I just love it because even if you don't have protein, which we did, um, I did add some extra. It's still 14 grams of protein per serving. And it's a pasta. You get a lot of energy and carbs for the next day. So that was last night. And then... This is the pasta sauce. It was the vegan bolognese pasta sauce. So I added that, which has four grams of protein per serving with this. And then I cut up some of the little chicken sausage, which I have in the fridge. So I'll show that to you when we get to the fridge section. These are the chips that we started eating on the way to Mammoth. It's the hickory flavored barbecue potato chips. Um, they're Hawaiian style. I've never actually had these, which is crazy to think about because I always buy different chips, but they are very, very good. So I definitely approve. They're like Hawaiian style, so they're kettle cooked, they're thin, they're crunchy. And the barbecue flavor is like really, really good. Kind of has like that oniony flavor to it, which maybe that's the maybe that's the barbecue bit. I picked up a box of Candy King JoJo. These are seasonal, they're back, and they're gluten-free. I wish I could eat the JoJo ice cream, which I just saw is back on the shelf. These are so good. Oh gosh, here we go. Not a lot of counter space in here, but that's okay. I think I'm gonna take some of these in my pocket for today. Mm. Looks like a, a Jojo. You smell the peppermint right out of the box. Mmm. Those are so good. There's a little coffee place in the building, so I picked some up. Well, it's not Starbucks, but it's like where they have the little just coffee dispensers and you pour it in. Mm. That's a really <coughs> great combination. A peppermint Jojo with Starbucks. Oh, well, coffee. Mm. I'm gonna eat a lot of these today. So yummy. The peppermint flavor I like because it tastes fresh. It doesn't taste artificial. And it looks like there's like little bits of peppermint like candy in the actual peppermint frosting within the cookie. Mm. Oh, tonight we're gonna be making the hot cocoa polar bear. I'm so happy that it's not the little tiny um, snowman anymore because that was like very, very difficult for me to watch the little snowman melting. I watched my little snowman as a child and it was just traumatic to watch it melt. So hopefully I'm okay with the, the polar bear. Um, for the pups, I picked up these little Bow Wow Bunch Brunch Holiday Egg Cheese and Bacon Flavored Raw High Dog Chews. Boo loved these, but they made them very thirsty. Popeye had one, but she just like guarded it. She didn't even touch it. So, that's okay. And I also picked up a fearless flyer for reading material tonight, so I'm going to go through that. And here's some of the other items we got that we've been getting into. Um, Gluten-free triple ginger muffins. Simon's been eating a lot of these. I like them too. Actually, true story, we ate both of these on the way up here. So that's, that's how that happens. And I think we're about to have some for breakfast as well. Um, tonight, we're going to be doing the pink peppermint face and body mask. I think we're just going to do faces, not so much entire bodies. But it's, it's cold and you get kind of dry and like um, wind burned up here just because it's the cold air. Who's that? Um, uh, what else? I brought these. These weren't in this haul, but this is from home. I did grab some snacks. Hi, boo-boo. This is the macadamia dry roasted nuts. 
I like to have a handful of these like four or five in the morning. It's a really good type of oil, get your brain going because it's full fat. <coughs> I have a nut in my throat right now. I also picked up organic raw honey and matcha. Well, the matcha isn't from Trader Joe's, but this is my favorite matcha. It's the Peak brand, um, and I can give you guys a link to that. But I brought this with the honey because that's how I like to start my day or afternoon. For snacks on the mountain, we picked up some fruise balls. Those are, these are like perfect because you have so many pockets in the jackets and all the things that it just makes it so easy to use a fruise ball as a snack. Gluten free English muffins. We got these, these are great for breakfast sandwiches, but also afternoon sandwiches. Just make sure there's a toaster available if you get the gluten free ones. Um, just mango, always a really good snack. Like even an after dinner dessert, like we had a sweet tooth last night and we were munching on them, they're so good. Mm. I love them, but not all bags are created equal. Sometimes you get really good pieces and sometimes not so much. If you bought these, you know exactly what I mean. Um, I also brought some treats for the dogs, which now they're staring at me because they want one. This is the pumpkin maple bacon, make it, maple bacon flavored stuffies dog treats. This, these are from this haul, but I brought them with me. Um, I also brought some of this. This is another snack we didn't buy in this haul, but we brought with us from my place. Potato chips seasoned with horseradish and chives. Simon got a baguette loaf, which he loves. I'm surprised he's eating it this slowly. This might be the slowest I've ever seen him consume a baguette. We brought up a box of Spindrift, which the little mini fridge was perfect because it had eight slots and it fit the eight cans. And when that happens, there's just like an overwhelming satisfied feeling that I feel. And I had it. Um, I picked up some dough macro bars. I got those for the mountain also. Um, we brought our athletic greens, we have that. And I'm gonna go through the little fridge and show you what we got because some of the stuff's refrigerated. Let's see. We picked up Just Egg. Well, the Simply Eggless, it's different than Just Egg, but we picked that up. I had that for breakfast yesterday. It's always good to bring, to pick up like an oat milk or an almond beverage, whatever you like to put in your coffee so that way you can have it on hand. We picked up some of the Borzin which is the dairy-free garlic and herbs. It's a great dip and I use it with my crackers, which I'll grab out. I also picked up an organic hummus. Yummy. Um, if you saw the, the real, this is Simon's drinking ketchup. Um, it's his condiment. Although this place is low in condiments. There's salt and pepper, that's it. So this is the ketchup that Simon was drinking. <laughs> and he wants it back. Um, I also got Let's see. I picked up some turkey for sandwiches, which I think I'm gonna make right when I'm done filming this, because I'm so hungry. And then this is the organic sweet Italian chicken sausage that I put inside of the pasta last night. It was really good. It's pre-cooked, so even if you don't have a stove or anything, it's super, you can just like snack on one. It's great, it's protein, it's filling. Um, we also picked up some of the New Zealand cheddar. And the veganese tomato spread. And then I also got these crackers. I can't find them everywhere, but when I do, I just love them. They're the multi seed um, savory thin mini rice crackers. And this is the tamari with soy sauce. They're a little um, like more savory, I say, uh, like a hint of sweetness too. But the one thing you have to think about with these is that. They, I thought they would go good in hummus, and they don't. So if you get the tamari soy sauce one, not the best hummus dipper, still good in borsin. And then we also picked up turkey bacon because we're trying to be less piggish. Is that a way to put it? I did. I met a pig in Manhattan Beach, and I pet it. And since then, I haven't been really able to eat too much bacon. So we got turkey bacon, which is still good if you get it really crispy. Still good. Not quite the same, but still good. Um, this is our leftovers from last night. I'm going to show you. This is the pasta that I made. Um, it was like the perfect meal too to have in the hotel. It's just like filling and it's, you know, how pasta dishes are. They're comforting and it's cold out and we have the little fireplace and there's snow. It's, it's so beautiful. And then also last but not least, well, 
We also got two avocados, which, oh gosh, bending down. Um, some eggs for Simon. He had some of these yesterday. And then that is, that is it in this week's $120 Trader Joe's haul. And like I said, a lot of the stuff I brought from home, um, the ones that we picked up in the haul, you'll have seen the price tag go across. But it's, it's perfect. Oh yeah, and I also got the reef. How cute is this? These are twenty dollars, so they're a little pricey, but they're like really durable. So like this will last you year over year, and this comes in three colors: colorful white, and then there's a red, white, and green one. So it really just depends on what you want. Um, I think that's it. Simon, do you want to come say hi, or are you good? Yeah. Where's yeah. <clears throat> Simon to say hi? Simon, do you want to try a cookie? Morning. Uh, just to be clear, I didn't actually drink the ketchup. I spat it out immediately after. Why do you have to be clear? Well, Why are you I lying to them? I don't want people thinking I'm... Uh, I don't okay, like... Then go try it. No. You have to try it. I don't like mint and chocolate. Just try it. It's not too chocolatey. Mmm. Why don't you like mint and chocolate? I don't like peppermint and cookies. Do you want to put ketchup on it? So that's it. Now I'm gonna eat another cookie, but I'll, I'll send you a photo when Simon and I put the, the face mask on tonight. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. And I should be home next week, but who knows? Who knows where I'll be? Hope we have a fun day out on the mountain. And uh, <clears throat> what? <laughs> see you later.